Hi, Dero doers. Submitting a tax report is a legal requirement for all businesses. However, the process of generating tax reports and returns varies from country to country. For example, Belgium uses a grid-based system to generate tax reports, but Odoo supports a variety of different systems. To better understand tax reports, let's have a look at how taxes and accounts are managed. Take a customer invoice. If the total amount that the customer owes us is 121 euros, this amount is recorded in the account receivable. But the 121 euro is divided into two elements, a base amount of 100 euros and a tax amount of 21 euros, based on a 21% tax rate. The 100 euros represents our actual income and should be recorded in the income account. The 21 euros is a tax collected on behalf of the government and charged to our customer. And this must be recorded in the tax received account. The opposite occurs with vendor bills. Throughout the fiscal period, the tax received and paid accounts increase with each bill or invoice recorded in our accounting. And as we close this fiscal period, we need to balance or settle our tax accounts to make sure the new period starts from zero. Once it's done, we can determine our taxes by simply calculating the difference between the taxes received and paid, and the remaining amount is recorded in the VAT current account. If it's positive, we need to pay. And if it's negative, we can claim it. So let's take a look at it in Odoo. Here in our accounting dashboard, we notice that a dedicated journal for tax returns is available by default. Let's start by configuring our tax return periodicity so that we can proceed with the tax return journal settings afterwards. So first, we'll go to configuration and settings, and we'll scroll down to the taxes section and find tax return periodicity. Here, you can choose the periodicity that fits your business needs, but for us, we'll leave it as monthly. And since the tax returns journal is already selected just here, we can just save. If we then scroll back to that section and click on configure your tax accounts, we'll find all of our tax groups along with the tax payable and tax receivable accounts. These are essential to automate the tax closing process. Back on the dashboard, after successfully configuring the tax return periodicity, we can move forward with our tax returns journal. We'll click on the tax returns button, and we'll set the periods, starting with the opening date. And this is going to mark the beginning of when the tax return periods will be created. We'll leave the rest of the settings as they are and click on apply. And we'll go back to the dashboard one more time just to see that the tax returns journal now displays automatic reminders to help us avoid missing important tasks and deadlines. Now when we click on the tax return button, the tax return view displays a chronological list of all pending tax reports. By default, we only see the ones that need to be done, but if we remove this to-do filter, now we'll see that we have all the ones from the past, if we had already completed any, as well as the ones that are due in the future. And also all the other returns that we need to take care of, such as the advanced payments, which are specific to our Belgian localization, or the annual closing. You can also switch to the calendar view, which is useful for viewing information by date. So each line includes a period, it includes the deadline, which will appear in red if it has already passed, and there will be the related branch if we're using a, an environment that has multiple branches. We also have an action step status summary. Each pending tax return follows the same three steps. That's review, submit, and pay. Then we have our action buttons here and a menu with additional options. Here, pending refers to the automatic validation checks performed by Odoo. When we click on a tax return line, all the checks are displayed. They ensure that everything is in order before submission. For example, the system looks for required bill attachments since they're necessary in case of an audit. It also verifies if there's any missing company information or any draft entries that may require confirmation or cancellation and it ensures that the tax rates and country codes are matched correctly. Some of these checks are also specific to the company location, such as our bank matching here. And the pending status that we saw in the previous screen was related to this pending check here that resulted in an anomaly. 
To move forward, we simply need to click on the check and fix the issue. So we'll open up our invoice. Okay, I remember this one. My colleague sent me a message the other day about this invoice. We can go ahead and just confirm it. And now if we go back in our breadcrumbs to the tax return, we can see that the draft entries has been updated to reviewed automatically. And if we go back even further, we can see that all six checks were passed. We'll go back into that tax return. And if we click on uh, the reviewed status here, we can manually change it and confirm that it's not only reviewed, but has been supervised for this specific one. So these checks are automatically run by Odoo, but it's also possible to add your own checks. You simply need to enable developer mode and then open the checks section of the configuration menu. All right, now that all checks have passed, we can proceed to validate and lock this tax return. So we'll click validate and lock. And here in the top right, we can see that it has been applied. So validating means that we are posting the closing entry and that the lock date has been set. If we go to accounting and lock dates, the different lock dates are displayed. And the important one for our purposes here is the lock tax return. So this prevents any user from creating or modifying journal entries with tax accounts, ensuring that the tax report remains unchanged. This tax lock date was automatically set during the validation of the review checks. So we can go ahead and discard and back on our dashboard, we'll click on the actual tax returns journal name and we'll take a look at the closing entry that has been recorded. If we open it, we'll notice that there is a credit in our VAT account and this means that we owe the government money. Once the tax report for a period has been posted, Odoo locks that period and prevents new journal entries related to VAT from being created. And any corrections to a customer invoice or vendor bill must then be recorded in the following period. We'll go back to our tax return for the next steps. And this time we'll do it by clicking accounting and tax returns. And it's currently in the review stage and displaying the payment amount that needs to be paid. And since this button is highlighted, we know that the next step is to click VAT return BE to access it. And this might look a little different depending on your localization, but here you can see the Belgian tax report with all of its tax grids. And we can filter the report by this month, quarter, financial year, et cetera, or any specific dates if we want to focus on something more precise. And we can also download it as a PDF or Excel file and we can copy it to the Documents app. We're going to click on our tax returns to go back to the tax return there. And everything looks good. We're ready to submit it now. So we'll go ahead and click into it and click Submit. And the submission instructions in this window are related to the fiscal localization package that has been installed based on your company's location. So let's say we followed these instructions. So I'll go ahead and click mark as submitted. And here a VAT payment window appears because as we saw earlier, a tax payment is required, but it won't show up if no payment is due. This window displays all necessary payment details to complete the transaction and even has a QR code for a banking app. So we have three options now. We can pay now, we can pay later by clicking discard, or we can send the information to our colleagues in the financial part department, for example. This time we're going to click mark paid and the tax return has just reached the pay status. And if we go back to the tax returns view, the corresponding tax return line has disappeared from the tax return view since we have our to do filter applied. One important thing to remember is that while separate companies can have separate fiscal periods and lock dates, any branches or subsidiaries are going to share the fiscal periods of the parent company, but they can have their own lock dates. Now that the tax return has been submitted, we'll create a vendor bill with a date before the lock date to see what happens. Let's say that we want to buy 
some things from our friends at Landscape Supply Company, and we're going to buy some of their lavender. And we'll set the bill date and the accounting date to both be October 31st, so that it's back before the lock date. And as you can see, we get a warning message explaining that the date is set prior to the tax lock date and that the journal entry will actually hit the books after the lock date once it's posted. That's it for this video on the tax report. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.